Hi again, everybody. So, with the recent videos that I've done, and um, you know what what's gone on in them, their subject matters, and they, they they've been really uh, emotional ones for me personally. And with the onslaught that I've all I've, I've started seeing with now the media trying to make like narcissism is this sort of stigma. And one of the themes that seem to be recurring in a lot of the recent videos including the comments from Enormous in that one thread, is, I'm a narcissist, but, you know, why is it everybody with you? You have a problem with everybody. Everybody's a problem. Why, 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 why? And, you know, in the past, we could get hung up on that. You still get hung up on it. So, again, you have to stop. And what I'm going to do is explain narcissism to narcissists. And why we're still so mad. And why it's everybody in our lives and it's not us. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to kind of Go back to a video I did a few months back, the moment the narcissist broke you. Because that's one that's hung in my head. Because even for me, that was pretty profound. And just to revisit that, for me, the moment I was broken was when I was maybe three, four years old. And I remember I was in the plant room, this front room. And my mother just came in, in a rage, and just started wailing on me. I mean, it was a blind side. And I never remember her hitting me before that, or what the deal was, or, or her ever hitting me before that, or the name, uh, probably name calling, but that is my first recollection. And I remember it distinctly because she was hitting me and accusing me of doing something that I had. No, not only had I not done what she said she was accusing me of, I had no concept of what she was even talking about. But she was saying, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this, you did this. Admit it, admit it, admit it until... Uh, And that was the moment. Because it was, it taught me to fear her out of her violence and, and, and that, that behavior. But it also taught me wrongly that somehow she's this omniscient force that sees something bad in me, that I'm doing something that I don't know about. And that is seared. Right there, you are marked. That was my moment, and most of you had that moment. And because that is seared, and I spent not time trying to please it, but trying to avoid it, and in some way you gain comfort in it, Therefore, a lot of you who are enablers or people pleasers, I wasn't, I was, I, I just introverted within myself. But for those of you who are people pleasers, you are going to be looking to please the same type of person that first broke you and seared that into your brain. That's why. 
because it's all a pattern that you set forth. Because that's the moment the narcissist broke you. But that video was incomplete. Because I didn't bridge the gap. Because not only is it the moment you broke me, the moment you broke us. It's the moment you realized you could. And you liked it. So both paths are set off at that moment. You set us on a on a course for misery and dysfunctional relationships and low self-esteem and self-doubt and believing irrational things about ourselves that aren't even remotely true. All because at that moment you realized you could and you all liked it. And you continue to like it to this day. So it doesn't really matter how many people you might be able to convince or fool with your lies. You know their lies. And we know you know their lies. And we know you know that we know that they're lies. So be it. These are two paths that were set forth by your inaction or not by your inaction, by your actions, by your purposeful actions. Now, every parent, I imagine, could have a breaking point, have a bad day, have something happen, and they snap, and they hit their kid. And I hit Erin once when she was, like, going freaking out, and then she punched me, and I, like, just knocked her back like this. The second I did it, I just grabbed her and held on to her. I was like, I'm sorry. That was wrong. But you animals don't. You animals like the feeling you get from it. The moment you broke us is the moment you realized you could and wanted to. I hope that clears this up. So, thank you again, everybody, for all your support on this channel. I really appreciate it. I'm doing fine. Um, one of those last videos, that one with Laura. I wasn't mad at Laura, I'm not mad at her. I feel horrible for her, and I'm terrified for her. And I have to be honest with everybody, when I'm reading this, I gotta yell it out. If there's something, I gotta, I gotta shake you. So, you know, there was a comment that people don't give you money to get yelled at, or something. I'm like, I hope people give me are giving me the ones who do contribute. I hope that it's for my honest opinion, whatever it may be, because you really want help. And I hope, and I believe mo most people do it. Are I would hope you're not just get you don't just contribute. Because you think I'm going to tell you what you want to hear. You know, because that's that's pointless. From, if that's what you're looking, if you're just looking, you know, to, 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 to get what you want to hear and all can, I, I can't do that. I can't. So, 
Hopefully you'll understand that. I think most of you do. So thank you again, everybody. Um, I'm probably heading off to bed now. So I'll be back up making videos uh, later on in the day. So you guys know what to do with the PayPal and the email link in the description box. I'll have a video right back to you. This is Ali Matthews. Thanks for watching. See you all again soon.